Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Roguecraft. I'm having a really fun time playing this so I figured, you know, why not play it some more. And we'll just immediately get into this run and uh, see how it goes. So yeah, uh, last time we left off, obviously we had uh, got Fortune 4 on our, pick, uh, on our pickaxe. We got some wood tools and sword and we spawned in this area which is pretty nice oh oh that's a baby zombie which i would rather not have to try to kill because i'm I don't know about you guys, but I am very bad when it comes to trying to kill baby zombies. Because they're just so dang fast and small. Um, but we could, potentially, actually get some pretty good loot from here. Um, so... Kind of see, I guess, if we can actually get into here. I'll mine up some blocks. This could be a complete waste, or this could pay off. We'll see. We shall see. Or this could be just... Okay, how did he hit me from there? That's crazy. Unless this guy hit me? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, we got a carrot. That's actually... You know what, we'll take it. Ooh, gold. If we had an iron pickaxe, that would be really nice. Oh gosh, there's freaking two of them. Where'd he go? Come here. Come here, Mr. Creeper. Yeah, that's why I oftentimes block up the, the pathways. Because just to be careful, you never know what could be around the, around the corner. Even pathways that you've just come from. Ooh, a chest. Okay. Got an iron pickaxe. Nice. So actually, now we can grab the gold. So now we have a bit of gold, and we can make the stronger skill points. And that'll give us a nice, uh, nice jump start. Alright, did I grab that one? Yeah, I did. Okay. But there was gold. Yeah, I'm going to grab more copper as well. I believe it is copper that we need as well. Copper and gold.
sound of those zombies. Does have me a little nervous. I'm gonna just block off that area and assume that there's nothing that way. Um, let's grab this coal so I have enough for fuel. Is there anything this way? Doesn't seem like it, so we'll just block that off. I feel like there was more gold somewhere. But I don't remember where I saw it. Cause I was like, oh yeah, there's there's some gold. It would be nice if I had a pickaxe. And then I just got the pickaxe. And now I don't remember where I saw that gold. Um. I could be completely misremembering things, though. There's some iron down there. Yeah, we don't have a good food source. Oh, and I, of course I planted it. I'm gonna just get out of here before I die. I ain't gonna get too greedy. Because that's definitely how I get myself killed. Because we don't have a food source right now. Other than this rotten flesh that I have, so. We don't have a lot of wood either. So I should definitely get that. Might be able to go back to like that area in the future. See what we can get from it. But. For the time being, we're just going to kind of stick with this. Let me actually look. Uh, what do you need for the... Ah, four gold and four copper. Okay. Dang. I, was, I don't know why I was thinking that you didn't need that much gold for it, but clearly I was wrong. But it's fine. We'll at least get like a taste of what it's like to uh, to, to get uh, two skill points from one skill pearl. Let's grab some wood. We definitely are going to need um, a lot of wood. We're gonna need some more. F we're gonna need food. I'm not seeing any animals around. Looks like I could just eat the rotten flesh for now, which kind of sucks. But gotta do what we gotta do, and then we just need to find some more food. I mean, we could go to the jungle over here. Okay, so here's some sheep. Okay, nice. Um, let's dig down a bit so we can get some more um, cobblestone. We don't want to spend too much time on this run because we want to use those skill points and um, basically immediately move on to the next run. Just to optimize how much time we're spending, even though, you know, if you wanted to do it in one run or whatever, you would want to be spending um, more time on a run rather than less. Um, but personally, I'm just, maybe in the future I could try it where I just do one run, see how far I can get with that one run. But, 
Yeah, for now we're just going to do it this way. Just to optimize it a little bit. And we're going to immediately go underground. Put a piece of wool there. We can put some torch there. Um, put a crafting table somewhere. Definitely going to need some more furnaces. Put the smoker there. Um, oh, we need more wood. Don't really like being out at night, but as long as there aren't any skeletons, we should be fine. Creepers would also be quite dangerous to deal with, but I'm not super worried about them at the moment. I probably should be more worried about them, but they're relatively easy to escape from. I mean, they're not, they're not like the easiest in the world, obviously, but... Oh no, I'm not that worried. At least for the time being. But yeah, after this run, I want to upgrade my tools. Um, I want to get efficiency. I want to get... Uh, maybe fortune. Probably, definitely haste. Definitely want to get haste. Um... So we'll get we'll get the haste and then that'll be good that'll be good um I mean we could strip mine a little bit but we're not really gonna find any gold so it's not it doesn't really matter that much at least not at the moment. I guess we could just make a bed, sleep through the night, and then kind of rush getting more wood and more experience. I think that would be a good idea. Actually, I'll leave that there. I mean, it doesn't. Beds don't really matter, other than for sleeping through the night. And oh my gosh, Enderman scared me. Um. But yeah. Got freaking leather armor on him. I just did not feel like trying to kill him. Didn't think I was in really a good spot for that. Okay, let's get some more wood. Um, so we can get some more charcoal. And then we can smelt up this gold. And we should be good after that, pretty much. I, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay. We have some wood. We have char charcoal going. We have food. We're in a pretty good spot for the time being. Keep putting wool down, even though I don't mean to. So yeah. After this gold gets smelted and everything. So yeah, we want to make uh, those skill points. We got two. Nice. There we go. Now we have eight more. Or oh, six more, I should say. Total of eight. Uh, ah, we don't have enough coal. Dang. Ran out of coal. Okay. Well, then let me look for if there's like a K 
cave or something around here. Endermans really, I mean, normally I wouldn't be too worried about Endermans, but I have, I have five hearts. Oh, that's a mangrove swamp over there. Yeah, five hearts and just accidentally looking at them once could basically spell the spot, like the end of me. So, cause I, obviously I don't have any armor or anything like that, so. Definitely quite worried about stuff like that, but we should hopefully be all right for the most part. We could, uh, have to be careful, obviously, going underwater that we don't drown. But I'm just kind of looking for iron. Not really because we need it, but just so I can get the uh, advancement. Oh, yeah, and more coal. I almost, I already almost forgot that I needed more coal. So. Okay, I'm going to try to break this block. Whenever the game feels like breaking it. And then we'll go with that. And then we'll use stone pickaxe to mine up the coal. I'll put a torch down so it's a little bit easier to see. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, and of course the freaking water wants to come through and mess me up. Love that, love that. Mine up the rest of this coal. Okay. And we need to head back. But we got 28 coal on us. Pretty good. We have plenty of copper. Copper is definitely not going to be a problem. Um, go here. And go down for the copper. Er, not the copper, the coal. From here, I think it is. It's in this general area. It's literally right there. Okay. I barely missed it. Okay. Let's just put some blocks in front of it. Make it a little bit easier when I'm mining. So yeah. Don't have to worry as much about the water. Still gonna be annoying, but not as annoying. Okay. Now experience. Experience is gonna be our biggest um oh, hello Mr. Parrot. I can get a parrot. Yeah, let's get a parrot. Breaking, does breaking, breaking it with fortune, does that give me more seeds? It seems like it does. How many seeds do you need? My gosh. Oh yeah, breaking it with fortune, wow. That 100% gives you way more. Dang. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, come here, Mr. Parrot. Now we have a parrot. Probably going to get lost. And, I mean, eventually we're going to restart the run anyway, so. Very, very, very temporary friend that we have, but a friend nonetheless. Um... We're up to 10. 10, we could... I'm thinking... I want to... Should we just trigger... Should we just restart now, I think? I'm thinking of just restarting now. Because we could get... Um, I don't have any bones. Or should I wait until... I'll get one more level. One more level. 
Probably won't make that big of a difference, but we're already close, so I figured might as well do it. Um, um, just need one, like, one or two more animals to kill, and then we can... I'm sorry, PETA. I'm sorry. Ah, I should, I could, I mean, I could get the iron as well. Oh, dang. Horse is on fire. Heard a cow. Where's the cow? Heard a baby zombie as well. Probably in the cave is where that baby zombie is. Where is this cow? Come on, Mr. Parrot. Oh, there you are. Hello, Mr. Cow. I, I'm sorry. I need your experience. If you didn't drop experience, you'd still be alive. So, technically, it's your fault. I mean, alternatively, I could go for fish. It seems like maybe it's just me that believes this. But it really does seem like the drop rates for... Uh, or not uh, not drop rate, The spawn rates for fish are really low. Like I said, it could just be me that believes that. But uh, what am I missing? Wait, where'd the skill pro go? Didn't I pick it up? Oh no, there it is. Okay. We're up to 11 now. Um. I think I'm going to. Try to. Uh, there's, there's other advancements I want to try out. But. Maybe I'll try that out in the future. Um. We're almost up to level 11. Wait, I want to get some iron. So I can get the advancement for it. <coughs> and then get a free skill point from that. But, you know, I actually have to find the iron. You know what would be so much easier to do? Just make a door. I can just make some doors. Does doors still work, right? Yeah. Just making sure. Anyone that's like well versed in what advancements what advancements exist in Minecraft? would actually be like really good for this um i'm not really one of those people i know some advancements but i'm not all that well educated okay there we go i was wondering why i couldn't place that door Now we can make the furnaces. The furni, as some say. Probably no one actually says, but. Oh, there's some more iron right there.
Did Fortune 4 just do nothing on that? Or like... I don't understand. I mined four... Oh, there it is. There's... Okay, there's one more piece. Really? That's all I got from that? I feel like I probably passed up some iron. It's like somewhere down the line, I probably passed up some iron. And people are going to be like, you passed up iron at this point in time. Oh yeah, I forgot. And advancements would also give you experience too. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I wish I could craft armor, but at least I can make a bucket. I'll take the bucket. Now I want to find lava. If I could find lava, then I could put the lava into the bucket, the bucket, and I don't know if that would count towards the advance. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as a skill point thing to get. Is to get a bucket of lava? Um, if that is one, then I'm going to farm that as much as possible. Hello, Mr. Parrot. Okay, where's that forest fire? I think it's a decent ways away. Yeah, it's like, oh gosh, I'm surrounded by mobs. This is ridiculous. Remember, like, when I originally was like, oh yeah, maybe mobs don't spawn, like, at night. Well, I guess this is, like, the second night, so. I was really like, maybe just mob, like, spawn rates are turned down or something. I was barely ever seeing mobs. And now they're like, now they're just everywhere. I mean, I have 13 skill points. Really, at this point, all I'm trying to do is test to see if putting lava in a bucket counts as an advancement. Um, or not as a, an advancement, but if that counts, uh, if that advancement counts towards the, towards giving you a skill point. Difficulty level of four. I didn't even realize. Yeah, here's the lava pool. Oh, uh, and apparently it's guarded. Okay, let's see. It does. Ooh, okay. You know what? We can burn in the lava. That's what you get. Um. Okay. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just was hoping that I would be the one to, to end the run and not a bunch of enemies, but... You know what? You guys want to kill me so badly, then deal with the lava. Did anything die from the lava? Oh, okay. Ow. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we got our skill points. We're up to 14. So this will give me... This will give us stone. Or uh, stone tools. I think I'm going to go with that. And then... And then I'm going to go with haste. 
Instead of efficiency, I think I'm going to go for haste. I think haste is going to be better. But we could go for efficiency. Okay, so yeah, that gives us iron. Iron pickaxe. So now we can get gold, um, you know, diamonds, all that good stuff. And we have haste, so that should be pretty nice. Um... Some meat, some donkeys here. Which I believe, yep, they do. Per, they do give experience. I'm sorry, donkeys. You guys give it. I'm telling you, if you guys didn't give experience, I wouldn't be killing you. But like, I don't have a choice. It's just the date. The data pack is making me do it. I I swear. It's the it's the fault of the data pack. It's not mine. It's all the data pack. It's all because of the data pack. And I'm so I suck. I'm, I'm suck. I'm Mark, I'm Mark Suck. Mark Zuckerberg. Um. There's a skeleton. Don't really feel like dealing with anything over there. Over, over yonder. Don't really want to deal with any of that stuff. And while that, that is a lot of mobs that would give a good amount of experience. And there's a lot of ores down there. It's very, very dark. Ooh. Wait, what? A village? Actually. And there's also a huge river right here. Which means... Oh my gosh, that's a huge cave. But yeah. Fish. Potential death from drowning. Oh my gosh. I don't understand what, like, what caused me to jump. But, like, I saw the squid and I was like, I, I, immediately in my mind I was like, sharp. I don't understand what caused me to, like. Oh my gosh. I was, I think I have like a fear of sharks or something. Maybe that's what my brain is trying to tell me. Is that I'm scared of sharks. I'm learning that from playing Minecraft. Who would have guessed it? Should I just, let me just use this iron sword. This is a whole lot easier. You know what, I have an idea for the villagers, though. Because I kind of did this with an SMP. I did it a little bit differently, obviously, and I had, you know, I could actually craft gear and things like that. But, I'm going to try to farm them for experience. And now that we have, like, plenty of food at this point, um, I just need to get some more wood. Need to get some more... Cobblestone. There's cobblestone right here. Haste is just so nice to have. I think, honestly, I think haste is going to be better than efficiency. So going for like for going for haste instead of efficiency to start off with, I think is going to be the better strategy for this. Um. For getting ores, you definitely want the fortune for, and then for obviously mining blocks, I would say go for. Obviously later on, I mean, if, if haste gets to be too expensive, I didn't check how much haste was after the first level. If it maintains uh, four skill points, then I'm definitely just going to keep going for haste. Um, if it gets more expensive, like it does for like, uh, uh, for what's it called? For uh, for the tool leveling, if it gets more expensive, then I'll just go for uh, 
go for the go for efficiency at some point. But yeah, um, plan is I'm gonna need some gravel so we can get flint. And I think I saw gravel around here somewhere. I think it might have been a ways down though. I don't remember. Where did I see gravel? Maybe I. Maybe it was like a while back when I saw gravel. And my brain is just making me misremember. I don't know. Well, whatever the case may be, let's check around and see if I can find any gravel. Gravel, oh, gravel. There's gravel way down there. And there, there are villagers. Okay, was not sure if there would be villagers. Okay, there's gravel down there. It looks like. Okay. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, okay. At least I didn't fall down there. Oh. oh, there goes my gravel. I'll just get it from here. And hopefully in the process not get... Attacked by any mobs. Okay, it doesn't even look like there's any mobs around here, so we should be good. Alright. Haven't cooked up any food yet, but we will do that here soon. Um. So let's get a crafting table down. Ooh, I didn't even think about this. Oh, and I, I don't even have any wood. What am I doing? What am I doing? I also need more coal. More coal would be nice. Ah, uh, gosh dang it. The best thing about the haste is, like, it doesn't even... Doesn't even only just apply to, like... You know, uh... The, like, using tools and stuff. It's, like... It's also, like, when you're, when you're attacking. When you're, um... When you're using your fist to break things. It's, like... The haste just speeds up everything you do. Every single action you do, the haste speeds it up. Whether it's you're, you're fighting, whether you're gathering resources, anything like that, it speeds it up. Okay, I can reach it from... There we go. I don't know why. I just like doing things like that that just kind of make my life a little bit harder, but I just do it for fun. There we go. Um, honestly, instead, I think I'm just going to throw that in there. Yeah, he's trying to get to the smoker. I actually don't have enough wool for a bed, but I'm in a village. What do I need a... What, what am I talking about? Why would I need a bed? I'm literally in a village. There's a bunch of beds. There's beds everywhere. The, the hoe is actually coming in really, like, it's coming in handy. Why didn't I turn the freaking, okay. I didn't turn this into bread. I'm, 
I'm slacking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I am slacking. Okay. Go find a bed so we can sleep. Ooh, gold nuggets. I didn't even think about the this place could have chess. Didn't even think about that part. Yeah, I mean, actually, let's go. Let's go for. Let's go look. Let's go look to see if there's any chests. There's probably not going to be anything super good, unless there was like a blacksmith or something. But knowing my luck, probably not going to be a blacksmith. I'm not even, not even gonna really bother hoping for one, but. Oh, nice, some emeralds, okay. Is there an iron golem? I haven't really seen an iron golem anywhere. There is an iron golem. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna need you. I love, like, how you're just massive. You're huge. And I'm I'm literally, like, a full block, block and a half, maybe smaller than you, and I'm just pushing you around. Okay. This is going to be quite dangerous. So I'm going to try to make sure that I don't screw this up whatsoever. Yeah, that's a little too far away. Okay, I'm gonna need you to come here. I need you to come closer. Yeah, I... Just to be... <sighs> okay. That always has me a little concerned. Mr. Villager, that's not really a good spot for you, I'm gonna be honest. Like, that's a pretty bad position you're in right there. You're very close to a cave. Can't really get out. I don't know. I personally wouldn't go there and stay there, but you do you, man. You do you. Okay. I am definitely going to need a chest. This is like the this is the literally the first time I'm making a chest. So I actually have too much stuff on me right now. Let's grab all this charcoal though. And I mean let's start let's start smelting things. Um let's see. It's, it's also weird to me that like copper only requires one per 16. I don't know if that's part of the data pack or if that's like part of the update. I assume it's part of the data pack because I doubt that they would do that with Minecraft where they make ores like that, but I'm not sure. Anyways, so the main thing I want to do with the gravel is um, get the flint, like I said before. So let's just farm this up as much as I can. How much gra How much flint do I have? We're up to two. After all that, we're still at two. Okay.
Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this in a bit more of an a in a closed environment. Just to prevent the gravel gravel from flying everywhere. Where is the gravel going? Huh? Where has it gone? Where, huh? Where'd it go? You're telling me my gravel disappeared? Did it go, did it, cause I'm thinking like maybe it got pushed up. But like, huh? How? Okay. There we go. Now it's a fully enclosed environment. Come on, I just need the flint. I just need the flint. I just need the flint. Okay. Well, I, I think I think this should be enough flint. We'll just block that off, I guess. Um it's really, we just need, we just need, uh, watching tables. Let's break that. Cause yeah, like I said, we're going to be farming these guys for experience. Actually, you know what? What I need to be doing is farming coal because I do not have much. It's nice that there's just a cave right here. That's actually like. I didn't even see this the first time, but like. This is nice. This is nice. Thank you for having a cave right, right next to your village. Hey, okay, it seems like these guys are like dwarves or something because like they just, they really put their village just in in the middle of like a, of cave area. Because like there's this little cave right here with some coal. There's like that huge cave right over there, like. Starting to think that they might have done this on purpose. Okay, let me grab the copper. Twelve, nice. Um, and then yeah, if we can find some uh some lava, we got our bucket. Okay, so yeah, this guy. So we're gonna need some more. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to have to go down that route. They do give a lot of experience when you trade with them, but that also means cutting down a lot of trees. I think I'm just gonna try to get myself the lava and then we'll call it here for this run. See if I can find lava though. Dungeon actually. Oh, nice. I am really worried about a zombie spawning. So I'm going to try to be careful. But you know what? Could farm it for experience.
If I like light up this area here. Oh yeah, and with the difficulty level, they'll just... They'll actually just... They'll actually give quite a bit of experience. I wish I could sleep through the night, but it's fine. I think what I'll do is actually just kind of move the stuff over. Because I actually think I'd rather go over with their, with their, with the, not the putta, with the spawner, where the spawner is. That's going to give a good amount of experience. It's going to be a little slow, yeah, but I think it'll be a pretty good investment. At least an investment of time. Where was the spawner thing at again? I think it was more down this way. Level 14 minutes. Wait, I didn't get the thing. Gosh dang it. Alright. Get right down here. So honestly, let's just block off that part so we don't even have to worry about like mobs coming in. Kinda worried about spiders, but we should be fine. Um, and then yeah. Seems like it's only this area where they can spawn, so I think this is a pretty good spot. I don't think we'd have to like light up any more area or anything like that. Um, Yeah, and spawner, spawner, like, spawners would actually just be, like, keep getting better. Because, because of the difficulty increasing. So actually, like, mob farms in this would be insane. Spider spawners, not so much. Spider spawners wouldn't be as good, but like zombie spawners, skeleton spawners, preferably spider spawn, er, preferably zombie spawners would be like the best, obviously. At this point, I'm just farming mobs that are both spawning on the surface and from the spawner.
might try villagers in the future because villagers would like would be a really good way as well of getting experience. But I feel like early on zombies are gonna be are definitely gonna be the the main producers of experience. Like I said, early on. Later on, probably gonna be villagers, especially if you can cure them. Um, the only thing that's really annoying is that in the recent, I think at 1.20, I think it was, they made it so that you can only cure villagers uh, once, and like, like they didn't, they they changed it so that uh, villager curing wasn't stackable. So, I feel like that was a pretty big, like, slap in the face for people who use villagers, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Okay, I think, uh, I think that's going to be it. We got 20, so we're just going to restart the run. Um... It's been almost an hour, so yeah, I'm just gonna spend the points now. Let's see how much is haste? Beast is still four. Yeah, so I mean that feels completely worth it to get. This would increase it to diamond, I assume. And then you know what? Let's just go for go for haste four. Oh my gosh, so we have diamond tools now. So I'm, ass I'm assuming 5 out of 5 would be netherite. So we'll have diamond tools. We have fortune 4. We'll have haste 4. Jeez. Okay. Well then, that's going to be it for today's video of uh, of Roguecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having a... I'm, I'm having such a good time playing this. This is actually like just amazing um like I, I it's 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 awesome so yeah so yeah my name's sam um if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel mean the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything and yeah hope to see you guys in the next one you guys take care